Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with rules from the assembly environment. First, let's set the stage for what I'm doing here. I've got a red cube and a blue cube in my graphic area. Go to the blue cube, right click, select open. Let's click parameters on the ribbon. Here's the parameters window. Here we've got length, width, and height parameters for the blue cube. Let's open the red cube now. Right click, open. Click on parameters. Here we have the length, width, and height parameters for the red cube. OK, let's close this document. Now let's take a look at the parameters from the assembly level. Here are the parameters associated with the mates. When you mouse over, we see the callouts letting us know what they are. The first thing I'm going to do is add a custom parameter. I'll call it length. And just click outside the field to register. Let's make it 30 millimeters. Add another one. This one is width. Click outside to register. Let's also make it 30 millimeters. And lastly, we'll add another numeric parameter for height, also 30 millers, since I'm working with a cube. Now at this point, these user parameters don't control anything. We're going to create a rule to learn how we can use these parameters to control the size of both cubes. So from the Manage tab, let's click on Add Rule. Now let's give our rule a name. I'll call it cube size, cube underscore size. And let's click OK. On the model tree, expand the node for the blue cube. Select model parameters. Double click on length to insert that into our code. Go to the next line. Double click on width. Next line, double click on height now. After the length parameter, let's type in a space equal sign. And let's go to user parameters at the assembly level. Double click on length. Space equal sign space. Double click width. And space equal sign space again. Double click on height. And let me take a moment to recap what we've done here. We've created assignment statements. We've assigned a value to the parameter blue cube length. This parameter belongs to the blue cube's part file, and that's indicated by this prefix here, cube underscore blue dot IPT. We've assigned the value that's stored in the parameter length. That parameter is created at the assembly level. Let's do the same for the red cube now. This time, I'm going to use the parameter function. Let's double click on it to bring it into the code. Highlight the parameter name. Select the red cube. Let's go to the names tab. Double click on the name that appears, and it appears in our code. Now let's add a comma after the name, space, double quotations. Within the double quotations, let's put in the second argument, the model parameter, length. Let's just delete the reference to the part file. And let's also delete the right side of this assignment statement. And we can copy and paste this line of code. Paste it below. One more time. And let's change this parameter name to width. So we'll just copy and paste width in here. And for the third line, we'll put in height. Right click, copy, and right click and paste. All right, let's go back to user parameters at the assembly level. Just double click. Double click here to bring it in. Now the width. And next line for the height. Another way to retrieve the length, width, and height parameters is to right click on the part and select Capture Current State. And here's the three parameters that we're interested in. 
By the way, notice how the is active function looks when we try to control the feature state at the part level from the assembly level. So the first argument is the name of the part that's cube underscore blue dot IPT. The second part is the name of the feature extrusion one. And let's delete all that code. Let's expand the document branch of the snippets tree now. Double click update when done to insert it into our code. And let's click OK. Open the parameters window. Let's change the length, width, and height of our cubes. I'll change each value to 20 millimeters. And let's click Done. This concludes our first tutorial about working with rules in the assembly environment.